So I'm going to talk today about the structure of the Earth, and it might be helpful if you look at one of the diagrams in the textbook while I'm talking about this. So if we start in the middle, we've got the core, and the core is split into an inner and an outer core. The inner core is solid iron. Um, it's around 5,000 degrees, and the reason for the heat is due to uh, radioactive decay, which has been taking place since the creation of the Earth. Surrounding the inner core is the outer core, and this is liquid iron, which rotates around the inner core. This is important because it generates the magnetosphere, which is a magnetic field uh, surrounding the Earth and protects us from solar radiation. Uh, this is generally invisible, but when you hear people talk about the northern lights, which you can see at northern latitudes, um, this is actually uh, the, the magnetosphere and it makes beautiful colours in the sky. Uh, the next layer up is the mantle, and this is by far the largest layer. It's made up of molten rock, and if you kind of think of it a little bit like the consistency of jam. Uh, this is very hot from about 4,800 degrees uh, near the core to about 1,500 degrees uh, when you get up to the crust. It's moving, and it's moving by a process of convection, and we call these convection currents. And this is because the warmth of the core, 5,000 degrees, heats the magma. It causes it to rise because hot things rise, they're less dense. They circulate up, they get to the crust, they're blocked, they travel sideways and they sink again. We've got a series of convection currents that are moving inside the mantle. And this is really important because it's what causes the movements of the plates, which I'll talk about later. Um, also in the mantle we have some plumes, some extremely hot parts which are rising and these cause hot spots um, and these cause volcanic activity away from plate boundaries. The final layer is the crust and the crust is made up of plates, I mentioned those earlier. The crust is a very thin layer, it's about the thickness of the skin of an apple or a plum in comparison to the rest of it. It's solid and these plates are moving because of the convection currents. Uh, the Earth split into nine major plates plus lots of little plates and the plate boundaries is where we get the earthquakes and volcanoes. So the convection currents move the plates and we get movement of the plates at the plate boundary which causes earthquakes and volcanoes and that's what we'll learn about next.